Hi, it's me again with Corel, Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and this is mainly you want to be for a plasma cutter, but laser engravers might be a little bit of a little bit of help to you. I'm gonna I brought in this picture. I'm gonna angle it. I didn't take a very good job of taking the picture, but a man's bringing me pieces of plywood. And he wants me to trace them, and the pictures are huge, and the because the plywood is 30 inches tall, so I've just kind of angled it and made it straight. If you were gonna this thing is 76 inches large. So we need to crop it. So with something selected, get your crop tool and just draw you a crop box. Just making sure you have all the tree. And we'll go a little bit further. And then I'm going to double click and it cropped it out. And you can see it's already made it 66 inches. But if you trace this inside a corral, it would take forever. So I'm just going to reduce it because the size we can change later. Now in the first two, so I've reduced it. So I'm going to go to bitmap and resample. And we're at 400.25. Originally, it was only 72 dots per inch. On the first two, the picture is a little bit better, but I've got some shadowing or shading of the plywood. So this time, I'm going to convert it to a bitmap, and I'm going to convert it to grayscale. And if you didn't use, if you didn't reduce it, this picture would take forever to, to do that. Now we're going to go to bitmap, outline trace, clip art, and Corel's going to trace it for us. And it won't take but just a little bit of time. If it was larger, it would take 10 times this size or this length. So this isn't bad at all. We're pretty good. We're going to hit OK. We're going to take our trace and move it out of the way. We're going to delete our original. Now we're going to go and we're going to left click, right click, and what we do, we have an outline. I need to, and don't, you know, don't worry about it. it's not level at the bottom. We're going to fix that. I'm going to go to arrange, ungroup all. I'm going to try to grab just the tree and I'm going to move it out of the way. I left all this garbage behind. Now we're going to zoom in here a little bit. I've still got some garbage in the middle. I'm going to go to arrange and I'm going to go break the curve apart. Now let's grab just the tree. And what that was was the number three. Now we've got a pretty clean image. And if you're a plasma cutter, you really want to make sure all those little pieces are gone. But as you notice, the level, the bottom's not level. And we need a level. It's going to weld it. It's going to be welded to another piece of plate steel, and then put wood around it. So I've deleted all the nodes in between. I'm going to take just these two nodes. Well, I'm going to have to bring this one down a little bit so I can grab it. And I'm going to convert these to lines. We can fix that later. That curvature. Now I'm going to select both these, and I'm going to go up to align nodes. And I'm going to align them horizontally. Bam. This is perfectly level now. Now it's got way too many nodes. So we're going to select everything. And we're going to reduce nodes. I'm going to put this on 30. Did a really good job. And you can use the slide bar. But 20 or 30 will work good. Now, this part of the tree only has some trash here. Let's just delete it. I need another node right here. I'm going to take both these nodes and convert them to lines. I'm right-clicking the mouse. I'll fix that straightness in again. There's only a couple nodes there. Right-click or, or right-click to get lines. Now on this side, there's not a node here, so we need to put a node and we need to put a node. Now I'm going to convert these two by right-clicking, convert them to a line. Now that messed up our tree, but that's easily fix. Turn it to a line. Now let's select all these top nodes and go to a line and align them horizontally and now you have a perfect piece of metal that will weld to something. Now I have to go back and critique some of these nodes and get rid of this sharpness but that's easily fixed. Just grab the shape tool Let's right click, convert it into a cusp, and uh, 
you know, somehow I might have converted that into a line. But you could always add a node. Nodes are not your friend is a plasma cutter. Turn that into a curve and bring our, get a little bit of a light there and then actually delete that one. And there's a lot more I'm going to do to this before I finish it for the customer and, uh, or actually send it to him. I don't like these straight lines. Anyway, then I would smart fill it. That makes sure everything's welded together. Move it out of the way. Get rid of that. Because we can always get an outline later. Now, the other ones are 30 inches tall. With my ratio locked, I'm going to make my height 30 inches. Bam. Now I've got three sets. And I only have to do one more. So I'm going to just take my number two, make a duplicate. So I'll know which one's which. Go up to edit. Change this to three. And whenever you're working on something like this, as soon as you get that step done, go save it. I've saved it three times now, probably four times. That way, if something ever happens, you can get back to this point. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. And thank you for watching.